so work just ended for me. I'm still here though because I'm actually working on my mountain bike right now. The reason I'm doing this is because tomorrow I came up with the bright idea on a day off to go try and beat the fastest time around that five mile reservoir that I always run and ride. I just started using Strava a little bit more frequently and uh, I realized that you could like burst people and try and time yourself against their segments. So I saw that this two people set some unbelievable records, like the all time records, unbelievable. and. The yearly record is really, really fast, but I want to see where I want to see where I'm at with that. So I was gonna use my red bike over here, but that's a new bike, and if I'm gonna get rowdy and go pretty fast, I don't really want to lay that one down yet. So I was gonna use my old bike, but I realized I can't put any bigger of tires on it. So I tried to put like a pretty big tire that would grip better, and it's not gonna happen. So I came down to it that I'm gonna be using my mountain bike. I did put my clip shoes on, which should help a little bit. The fastest I've ever done, which was five years ago, the, basically the only time I've ever timed it on a bike, was 19 minutes and 40 seconds. So I'm gonna be the first person at that reservoir at six o'clock a.m. and I am going to rip through those trails as fast as I possibly can and hope that there's not anybody on the trail yet. I told you. 6 a.m. Go try and break my record and some other records at the reservoir right now. All right, bike's all set up and ready to go. The only thing I need to figure out is how to work Strava so I can connect to the segment. Starts right here though. Tapped out in the old gearing department right now. Getting so used to the road bike, I got no more gears on. Well, that's a bummer. I tried to beat the record, and I found out that right at the end, I didn't do the little 0.2 second path over there. I went straight instead. So my time never went through. So, um, that sucks. I ended the last straightaway at 17.29. So now I know for next time, but the other thing is, I think I might have to put some bigger tires on my road bike and then give it a go because my gearing on the mountain bike was tapped out, point A to point B. Literally had nothing left. Today is like my challenge day. So my first challenge was fast time around the reservoir. And the second challenge is actually I'm going to go to that lake that I swam in last time. And I'm going to go swim end to end on it. I'm not supposed to be doing this, but ideally I'm going to swim from here to the far end. I don't really know the distance yet. I'm actually gonna just see what my watch says when I'm done. But I do have a kayak that I'm gonna be swimming next to, just in case things go horribly wrong. This is it, that's my lifesaver. Are you gonna save me if I'm drowning? I'm a certified lifeguard. I know, that's what I'm gonna tell people if they try and arrest me for open water swimming. All right, going to the other side of the lake. Ladies, pull me in if uh, everything goes really wrong. Um, just look for a yellow cap. Got you. Be oh. in the right direction. Michelle, that was disgusting. <laughs> Let's 
That wasn't even that bad. Okay. My watch might not clocked it, but that was cool. That's it. So I guess we're just gonna head back. I actually feel pretty good about what we just did. So we're just gonna go back that direction, finish it up. It's cool, because apparently I don't know how to use a Garmin watch, so I just didn't clock anything that I just did. Uh, so I actually have no idea what the distance is. So now I'm gonna set it on walking, because I actually know how to use that feature, and see what the distance of this is. But I felt pretty good. Guess we'll do it. Good job. <laughs> First time I ever did that. Really? Oh, great. Wow. That was about a little over a mile of swimming. Pretty good. It's a pretty good start to the first uh, open water swimming experience. I'm definitely feeling a little bit more confident with the whole swimming thing. I think that was the part I was stressing the most. Now I'm starting to feel a little bit more confident, so every other day I'm gonna come out here and swim, little by little. I didn't get in trouble for anything. Girls did great, guided me the right way. But big accomplishment today, very big accomplishment today. I'm not sure what else is in store for today, but we're gonna find out. Heading out on the road right now. I'm gonna go near the reservoir because I saw there's a bunch of segments over there. I'm getting on a leaderboard today. I don't care. I want I want top 10 on one of those leaderboards today. So I'm just going to haul around that thing and see if, if I could break any type of record. It's like my first day actually using Strava, like actually trying to use the full features of it and everything. And uh, it's been pretty cool so far. So now I'm all like excited and motivated to go do something. Let's see where we're at. Today is all about sprint. I just sprinted faster than I did this morning down that road. I cannot believe how fast I went. That felt good. I get another one in down the next road. That should be good for the day. Drivers need to respect bike riders more. So at least one of the sprints paid off. I just uh, got done with my ride. I did like 14 miles and says that I am now, the crown is yours, it says, out of 895 people. Your boy made it to the top on, it's the other way around. So it's around the reservoir. If anybody wants to go check it out, go find that one, beat my record, and then I'll beat it back. <laughs> that was awesome. Did exactly what I need to do. I just wanted to set one record today. So every day I'm gonna keep doing this. The amount that I sprinted today and the amount of stuff that I did today, all because I wanted to try and accomplish a little bit more. And because of this app, <laughs> it's pretty funny. Regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go take advantage of the day. Do something awesome. Do something even cooler tomorrow. I really appreciate you guys watching this. Please go like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. The time is now. Get soaked. We're going to make it.